Welcome back to Anno 2205. Now, last episode, we had a bit of a setback here with Wildwater Bay. Wildwater Bay is under, well, under an invasion. And we cannot act with it right now, but we still have the other mission here, produce the neural implants in the Arctic. Um, and it's going to be a very expensive production, but we should be able to manage this one. Um, first of all, what we need for that is a molybdene mine, this one here. Energy we have, logistics we don't have anymore. So I'm going to have this mine over here. What I will also need with it alongside is a transportation center, which once again costs me some money. So we are producing around 10 molybdene now here in the Arctic. And this makes it possible to have the Neuromodule factory for 20,000 credits. Only the first building costs us. Not a whole lot I can do with that. What I can do though is I can build those houses here. Right here. And alongside them I can then build this molybdene factory. Great. This is also producing some heat there at the same time. And we're producing the first neural implants. The next one would cost us 30,000. So that's something that I cannot really do for now. We also have unlocked a new building here. That is the community center. Because the neural implants are also being consumed by the protectors. So that is something we need to keep in mind here. Let's just check this one real quick. We actually need to attract scientists in the Arctic. 250 for the scientists. We still need the fine food and the community center. Now the fine food is actually something where we do need the where we do need wild water bay. For the neural implants though, I should have enough molybdene. Yes, so we can build another um module here then as well. Oh, energy wise we have a problem though. In order to increase the energy let's have one more module over here for our mine. Geothermal. And then we can build one of these community centers. We do have a few of them. I like this one more. And can we actually squeeze this one in here? Does it need heat? Oh, it costs 2,000 on the maintenance. 2,000 maintenance costs. We have a balance of 400. I cannot afford that for now. What I can probably afford is, yep, another module here. But that's it. All right. Meanwhile, um, my reinforcements are coming. So we actually were able to pull off more ships once again. So I can actually have a, another go at my Open mission fire. here. And we can actually make this one work quicker again. Right. So 22 minutes. We don't have to wait now. My reinforcements have arrived, but it's really, really hurting us right now, economy-wise. So Open let's destroy fire. this one quickly. Attention. There you go. And that should be the end of it. But Perfect. And thus my revenue we'll is going up again. We'll see. That was still very, very unnecessary. We got a bit of money there as well. And let's just check it now. Um... Rejuvenators is something that we need then, but we also need to go for the fine food. So let's just check the fine food real quick. For the fine food, we need rice and fish. So once again, actually, yep, the fish is something we need to get from the Arctic. So there we are starting with our first <laughs> production chains, our next ones, our trade routes, actually. Um, let's also... I would like to upgrade more buildings here. Right, even though we will have to have a problem there with the water especially. Water is now out, so I will still have a coastal side over there that I'm going to use. And we Enemy also should detected. be having All hand transfer another from warehouse in this area. And the dreadnought is still leaving the area, and look at that, it's barely taking damage from my ships. I should probably get away there as the ship is leaving. We still, by the way, have one coastal site here. That's good, because here we can either, either have the LG farm or the tidal power station. But, the, yeah, tidal power station might actually be something that we need rather soon. Do I have the money, by the way, for another solar power plant? Yes, 15,000. Energy scarcity. At least one I should be able to build still. And let's build this one. Yeah, it's close, but that is working connected that's the energy that we need for it 
That's fine. Ooh, that's really tight at the moment. Nine water we still have. Organic food, though, we don't have a lot. And I cannot... I cannot have another trade route right now. Is that right? I don't think so. So, let's just check this one real quick. We have the fish in Akia Flows. Ah, perfect. I can have another trade route. I can only have one, though, at the moment to the space station, right? But I can have the fish going to Wildwater Bay. Now, we need the fish. Um, so, I need to produce a bit more fish. That's something. Let's have another fish module over there. So that's plus six fish. I will probably Take still it. need one I more. Have complete confidence in you. Um, yeah, let's build this one. We have a, another logistics problem over there. So I do need one of these uh, maintenance modules. Attention. Under provision of specific consumer goods detected. It's really tight, the whole thing. Um, let's go with one more module. And then we have 14 fish. The trade route itself, of course, is also going to cost us. So let's just check this one real quick. Fish to Wildwater Bay. It's costing me 250 to get the 15, the 14 fish to Wildwater Bay. Transfer route right. But hopefully it's going to be worth it in the end because we can have the fine food then. And by the way, I could also have something else is the newer implants. We do not need 15 in Wildwater Bay. We're only producing three at the moment. So that's something that still needs to wait a bit. What we at least have is the fish and with the fish and hopefully rice, yes, we have enough rice, I can get my next production chain, the fine food, uh, the health food manufacturer, though it costs me 15,000 credits. Right, while we wait for the money to flow in, we can also see the current world market. We can see the prices for each of these products. So what I could actually think about of getting a bit more money in would be that we could have another trade route, right? So we have the... The bots here at the moment paying us 1200 um the next level still does not unlock me a new trade route so there we have a bit of a problem because i cannot have a new trade route and i don't think that we have a better product available than the the robots at the moment akia flows could have the neuro implants that would actually be something i guess we have the money now, so let's get cracking with the next factory. So the fine food here costs me 100 on the balance. I do need some space here though for expansion. That's a, That looks good. Let's build it. And let's just see what happens with the balance. It should go up. Perfect. Because the people here now get fine food, right? But it's not full. How much fish are we consuming? Barely any fish. That's a good thing. Level 8. Perfect. This gives me a nice money boost here. Perfect. So that gave me 44,000 credits now. And with that we can actually do something. We can finally build something. Let's build the modules for this one. For the fine food. We actually do need a lot of fine food. Right. Rice. Rice is now negative. And rice, 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 rice. Let's have another rice farm here. That's tight. That gives me a bit more rice though again. So we can actually work that fine food here, the 13. So everyone should have yeah. now fine food, yes, perfect. And another want? thing that we can do right away is now the rejuvenators. So that would be the algae farm. Let's have the algae farm over there. Producing us some algae. Let's have one more module for it. Uh, we need to keep very close look on that unfortunately rejuvenators needs three steps here right so the algae farm then we have the synth cell and i'm really starting to think of where we should be getting the space uh synth farm synth farm <laughs> i might yeah we can actually squeeze this one in here somewhere and a few more modules should be possible at the least right so 26 synth cells we have and now we do need the rejuvenators from this factory here we need to upgrade we need to upgrade soon because i'm running out of space so let's actually have this one over here and we can still have some more modules next to it 
and with that we're also out of money but the balance is still growing right so that's a good thing here balance wise 3000 and let's add one more negative three well, this is a nice surprise <laughs> What and we're also consuming you? all the synth cells, so I will need another module for this one. There we have it. To keep it equal, and uh, it's still negative, but it's close. You that's, by the way, one of here? the last products. Only I the neural implants are missing now, and then we can upgrade, and that's going to help us a lot to go to tier 3. But for now, for now, it's a problem. Alright, let's just check the global economy real quick um, we actually have now the means to do two things the first one is the find food let's get some of that to Akia flows that cost us 250 again but not all of that let's just say this amount right so eight Transfer that's going this way and then we have a new trade route and that's the newer implants from Akia flows to wild water bay that's actually going to bring us in uh, more money again right so that we can see the money is going up a bit this should actually give us now the opportunity, yes, of finally upgrading scientists in the Arctic region. Let's just check this one real quick. They have everything except the community center. That is something we should be able to afford soon. Actually, we are now. Perfect. This one costs 2,000 on the balance. And I'm always shocked when I see that. That's actually the mod talking to us here. Mm, let's build the community center in this tiny corner there. In times like these, it's important that people move closer together. Perfect. Especially with terrorism at our very doorstep. Community center is now in our little Akia Flows colony. And with that, we can finally upgrade those people here. And let's do this. We'll find the answers for you. And we get scientists, finally. Finally, finally, scientists in Akia yes. Flows. That's going to unlock a few more things, especially also here our next step. We do need 250. Uh, it's going up quickly. Okay, there we have it. The blueprints for the rocket launch pad plans and done a few tests. As far as we're concerned, you can start construction. The blueprints do look promising, but I spoke with John Rafferty, and there are some practical issues. Transfer we need to create a super alloy transfer cars. route, but that is not something we can do for a long time. Um, the major goal here would be now to increase the production of my newer implants. At the moment, we still have a surplus of six molybdene, so I can then add some more. Perfect. So while that is working now, the only thing we now need to do is increasing newer implants and also a bit more security in Wild Water Bay that we can do. Unfortunately, robots are still not increased in value what we can do though is we could Even see if he wants to I purchase would. something and yes he would like to purchase some algae we have some algae yeah, right. fruits can we can produce. sell a bit of that and bio resin no way I'm gonna say no so at least there is something like where we can make some additional cash once again now while we wait all on all of that let's actually start with the sector project Hi. that we have trench coats my name I figured out a plan maybe not all on the up and up this thing but it's worth picked up a whole bunch of interesting stuff. I can put your coordinates back onto my route. Take a look at this. In your place, I wouldn't pass up the opportunity. Sooner or later, we all gotta bite the grass, right? We have to, I guess. Take care of it. But and thus we're starting the special project now for trench coat. I'm hoping that he gives us some money from time to time, right? So uh, find trench coats, old chests along the coast. That would be our first mission. We do actually have a smaller ship for that. And along the coast, I guess it's this coast here where we now need to find something for him. Well, let's just see if we can do this on time. There's actually a chest over here. Perfect. Except and it's the a chest that, that we need. Situation has now changed. Now, this lock triggered, so you found it. Uh, or at least it's tracker, that's how I know. You better got the map too, because you need the numbers mumbo jumbo on it to find my stash. And follow the drone signal and collect scattered wreckage parts. Alright, so we do need our ship 
for that we do need to go to the drone that is somewhere on this map there it is and with that drone we kind of like need to find it like the scavenger in 1800 we need to find those parts i'm actually out of robots because i'm selling them obviously can we still upgrade yes we can still upgrade though that's pretty important let's get a bit more money in over here and here and here this of course also brings us closer to level 9 oh we are so Job close give me level 9 we need that money that we get from the level up here here and here perfect level 9 and with that we do get 50,000 yep 50,000 credits perfect that's what I want we have the drone and we need to follow its signal now right so as we can see the signal is going this way coordinates confirmed and there might be something over there alrighty there is the last crate that we need to find and bring it to my warehouse actually over there now with the money that was is flowing in now we can actually afford more neural implants again so let's get back to Akia flows I love how that actually works together right the constant upgrades and level ups with the cash that we do get out of I it expected to see you here oh let me explain my case Saman International hopes to expand the Arctic's food supply network in partnership with you. So there is a new sector project now unlocking as well, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. We want to upgrade our new implants. 30,000 cost us each, so we can actually afford two of them for now, right? And I probably should be doing that. Even though it's crazy to think about how expensive that is. There we have it. With that, I need to actually also upgrade another good here. How is it looking there now? 15 we have. Molybdane I should upgrade. And let's just check it real quick. How much more do we need? Ah, we have enough. Perfect. We actually have enough to have a an equal balance in World Water Bay now. Like plus one. Very good for the balance. And we can finally upgrade in Wild Water Bay. Now back in Wild Water, what we still need to do here is we need to now close one this trade route here, unfortunately, because I do need the robots. And that will definitely tank my balance now. Let's just see if we don't have anything else that I could use, right? So we do have, I think, the neuro implants. Yeah. But we're using most of it. Uh, vitamin drinks, it's a zero organic food. I don't have a lot. I don't have anything to offer at the moment. And I do need the robots peachy. that are coming in now. That's peachy. Let's see how you do on the next job. There we can have one more module. Then this one is full. And with that, we can now have another rejuvenator factory. And that's probably something over here in this area. have it here because I think yes we can have more modules than attached to it um, let's just check this one we have 11 rejuvenators now perfect we have a surplus uh, it's tight it's tight but I'm, I'm seeing at the end I'm seeing the the light let's build another warehouse oh money probably over there for the logistics but we do have everything do we yes we can upgrade we can finally upgrade the operators and let's do this ASAP we need no it's over again come on <laughs> I can't something is wrong something is wrong oh yeah we do need we do need that logistics center 20 there let's squeeze it in that gives me back my logistics and that should actually work now yes come on let's upgrade i cannot i cannot upgrade you here and i haven't even cleaned up we can actually sell something at Vil jorgensen so the fine the food price. that gives me yeah. some money there so let's do this also some molybdene and some aluminium Right, so, so we have a bit of money again, and with that we can find finally start the plasma smelter, the super alloy. That is the next uh, production material or building material.
that we can have and that we should have. And I'm going to start with it here. The production is running. Good. Perfect. Besides Six of them we have now. Aluminium is actually not negative. It does consume aluminium and molybdenum. Looking fantastic as always. I could watch these factories forever. And since we're producing that, we actually need that to upgrade to tier 3 in Wild Water Bay. So, once again, I need a new transfer route. And you can see that this is getting really plentiful here. Akia flows to Wild Water Bay, 6 we have. Yeah, 250 day. it costs me once the again. Deliveries are coming in at a good rate now. And with that, we've also now tests. unlocked the next step in the main campaign. Like it or not. That leads us Security to the moon. Controls, essential in our spaceport. Even more so when you're dealing with terrorists of the orbital watch's caliber. And in that case here, attract executives. We get the super alloys now in. And now we can finally upgrade them. And let's actually go ahead. I can't wait. Looking forward to working with you. And there we have them. Executives. Absolutely beautiful schedule. buildings. Not long before you cross the final frontier, so to speak. And this is now bringing in a lot of cash. The plans for the At least I hope so. Let's complete the final stages and make those plans a reality. And this brings us a big step closer to the moon, which is very important that we reach that ASAP. And of course, they have a higher consumption rate now once again. Um, and vitamin especially here is going down with that. Well, what I want to finally achieve is we want to get to the mainland, right? For that, however, we still lack a couple of resources. Actually, only 174,000 credits is actually getting higher, I think. And the constructor bots. Now, the constructor bots, actually, that's a problem. <laughs> We're exporting them at the moment to get the credit balance that we have right now. Without it, we will be, well, actually bankrupt over time. So, I do need to do something. I do need to expand my little settlement here as much as possible still. Um, and we can actually do this by a few margins. So it's really not a whole lot that we can do. And as we can see, it's adjusting itself right away of what we can upgrade here in our beautiful settlement. Um, and I have to be very careful here because I have no space anymore right where I could squeeze in more products. The rejuvenators we have, the newer implants are at zero now. Uh, the water is at three. Uh, I can still I can still go ahead with a few more. Let's have those guys there. That's fine. And probably those guys there as well. I can even go further. So let's just have a little downtown here. Now your implants is negative. Think? We have reached level 10 schedule? and that's what I wanted to reach. With that, we have increased our fleet size, 55,000 credits. Wow. And I think we also you got a new title. That's advice. right, the local a business. So at least there is something like new and really exciting happening. Making. And plus, well, the town is looking much more beautiful because of that. And we are only at tier 3. There is more to come. Now, with that, we have the money to finally... Oh no, we don't. Why do we not have that? We do need a construction ship close by. So that's my fault. Confirmed. Let's get a construction ship over there. Um, and another thing that I will need to do now is... Yeah, we need to cancel this constructor bot trade route here. Because I'm going to need those robots then rather soon. Done. This, of course, that once again is, is... Well, reducing my balance there. Because we are not selling uh, the robots anymore. That I need to do. Now, let's just go back here and there we have it. Claim sure the area. That happens on your new island Perfect. The there we have it, finally. And we are now in, well, on the main island where we want to go, where we want to create something massive. Money-wise, not that bad, not that bad with the upgrade here. And of course, as always, I would like to start with, well, a bigger road that we can do here. Now, as we expand, uh, we can see, well, we have a lot of space. Um, what I need to do is here I want to have city, obviously. So here we have now our little um, mountain industry then. So there we have the path for that. And we continue then into this area. This is basically going to be agrarian industry and stuff like that. Basically everything that we need that is not directly connected with the city itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's costing me quite a bit. There we have still some coastal sites that I can use and I should use them. Very important. We don't have a whole lot of that. So that's something. And here we can continue now with the three layered road, right? So in that case, and look at how big and beautiful this place is. There's so much stuff that we can build here with that beautiful sky. 
And the first thing that we can actually do now, that's something new, that is something we've unlocked, is the bigger residential complex, right? So we had the small one, and now we can go for the, the bigger ones, those guys here. Before I go with them, though, let's just finish the road layout that we have in this area. Perfect, there we have it. And this one here is going to be the first smaller city now. Um, what I can see right away is that we need water as always. So water is the first thing that is in demand. And I will also have a solar power panel um, right next to it. So that we have then... Uh, let's actually have it close here to the, to the coastal side, right? That's another 500 energy that we need right away. And money-wise, uh, money-wise, we are pretty low. Getting what I could do right is I could place. probably sell something. Niche. Yes, we can sell some fine no food. That's a bit like of money. Um, yeah, organic food is not selling well. But 40,000 at least we have out of that. Um, rice is fine, though. The water is fine. Let's get cracking on the first buildings here. So it's basically the big ones now that we can plan in this area, right? There we have a block, and that's going to be lots of people in these blocks. They also cost me more construction materials, obviously, but the good thing is we have all of that. At least for now, at least as long as I'm not selling it, um, we should be fine on that. Next up would be right away in information center, so that's something we can have here. And let's actually have another double road in this area. I think this, yep, this is going to work out. Another one here, so a little plaza or a little, well, bigger crossing that we have, where we then have one of these um, information centers, like this one. On the other side, we might just go for a police station right away, but yep, they are expensive, so I'm not going to place it yet. We can only think of where it's going to be, most likely. Next up, um, probably more houses in this area. The cool thing is we can, you know, use the smaller ones then as well if we want to. I'm just having the major road in there and there's something greenish. Very good. Also, this block is finished. Let's have another road. There we have now plenty of space for police station, probably another service building and a park or something like that, like here. But as you know, parks are rather expensive at the moment. I cannot afford too many of them. Um, how's it looking with my goods, by the way? Yep, yeah, rice is going down now. And with that one, oh, organic food at least is completely down. That's something. There we have a smaller ground then once again for something greenish. And I might, I might, I might just finish this one here too. Right, like so. Perfect. And yep, we can actually now go ahead with the next production that we need then for organic food. That is the rice, that is the water. Um, of course, we should have a depot now at all times, especially when it's so far away from the main warehouse, the main area. And we should never forget that we have those mining sites as well that we're going to need to exploit. That's that one. And then we could now start the rice production on a larger scale. So we do have, as we can see, the space for it. Um, I think, I think, I think we might have the rice then in this area, like so, and then the modules right next to it, like so. So we can have quite a lot of these modules then side by side. Now, one thing that's definitely lacking a bit is still my biopolymer production. Um, we do have, we do have, we do have still a bit of space over here. That's a good thing. Let's just see once again the bio resin that we need. That's actually over here. So I might just add another one. Perfect. Into this little corner to upgrade my biofuel that we need um, and then we do need our biopolymer production and as we can see perfect for that we can squeeze it in and perhaps one more uh, one more is not possible this is really the end of it but that's already 30 biopolymers that we produce now so that should be quite fine There we have the next one and we can see we are rather comfortable with the balance right now. I might though still need also another coastal side most likely. That is something we can actually have then over there. Righto. So water is something that is very, very limited and we probably will need to import all of that at some point. Um, but for now we can do with the water that we have. The rice is there. Now up to the organic food that we have, rice and water. And organic food is a rather smaller factory, so we might just have a lot of them in this area then, right next to this warehouse there. 
we can start with the next modules then like so. And that's not only that's only the beginning. So we can still have a few more here then. This is what happens um, to those who oppose it. Oh, and also now the Arctic is under siege. He's getting a bit more aggressive in that in that case. Um, I do have materials again and consumption goods. Let's go to the Arctic. While we wait for the reinforcements to arrive, let's increase our molybdenum production um, so that I can then also start with my neuro implants. Fleet arriving. There's the fleet coming in. Unfortunately, not stronger. <laughs> so we need to be very careful. There's actually lots of smaller ships. Uh, smaller ships, smaller ships. There they are. I would like to get some smaller ships first. They drop items and we can use these items against the bigger ships then. And we should definitely be very careful about that Dreadnought or Battleship or whatever you might call it. Um, they're doing terrible, terrible damage to everything that is holy in this world. Very good. That's the first one. Uh, that's the next one. We are taking heavy damage. Consumer analyses show uh, can food is low again. Battle stations. They're attacking. I'm not doing a whole lot of damage there, unfortunately. There's a bit of fuel. We need to get every single fuel pile that we can grab. Because that's going to provide some defense then for us at some point. Bit more fuel again. Very good. There's still one more. Alright, another smaller battle there. Now we can actually repair my ships and I should definitely consider doing that now. Very important. Okay, those guys, there we have the missiles, let's use them, very good, and that's actually it. This time it was a bit easier than last time, right, so the siege is over, um, we do however still have some problems in Akia flows. First of all, workforce mm. is recovering, that's good, let's check the newer implants, we have the molybdene, money-wise we don't have that much money, I was hoping for a bit more, but we can sell some fine food there once again. Let's do that. Get a bit of money in. 67,000 we have. And this should enable us to have at least a few more of these modules here. Mm, I probably... Let's just see. Because I definitely would like to have more houses than in this area. So let's have the next factory actually up and running already. And we might have this one here, I guess. Because then we can still squeeze in some more houses. Or like this, and we can have the houses on either side. Then we actually get more out of it. Let's have it like that. And we should afford two of them. Right. Oh, the only thing, once again, is energy now. We have the solar collectors, the solar power panels here as well. So I should definitely use one of these. Um, yeah, in this area, because there is not that much heat. Right, so we can use this one very nicely. Just here, perfect. And have a little road connection to it. That should give me the energy that we need. Actually, with the energy, it's a bit easier than it was without the modding. So that's that's at least something, right? We should not have such a hardship everywhere. And the cool thing is, I can now have these rows of houses next to the production area, right? So like that. It's a bit loud around it, I guess. But it's doing the trick. And we are out of money once again. Let's just check all the resources. Canned food is another thing that's out. We are exporting fish at the moment to Wildwater Bay, to the capital. Um, of course, that's hurting us in this area too. Let's just see. We don't have enough money for the fishery anymore. The canned hey, food production. Coming over. No way I can turn uh, that at least two times we should be able to sell perfect. And that's at least one more module. And hopefully... Ah, that's barely doing the trick. Now that's working out. But, as we can see, money is completely over. Another cool thing, though, is we have finally reached the first 10,000 people. So, on our way to, let's say, half a million, we are at 10,000. <laughs> That's at least something. Very good. Um, I don't think we need to do anything else here. Um, we do have more neural implants now, though. So, we can adjust the trade route accordingly. So, we can just get a bit more of that over to Wildwater Bay. And with 11, we do have a healthy, um, well room now before we need to um, expand the production back in wild water bay so here we have our new settlement i think good wise we are totally fine and i can actually now continue with some more houses on either side so here 
and that's probably it and we could have a little park there um there we can have more houses and hopefully how should i do this one here i might just go ahead and make this one yep that's actually possible and here we can then have the connection with the information sensor that we have in the center we do need that quite a bit um, and then we can continue also with more houses in this area another level up to 11 since we have gotten a few more people and this might all just be a city here to be honest so we can yep as they already want we can have another community center here or information supply center this one at this corner here and then we can continue with that bear in mind though it doesn't matter how high the balance is right now we are never going to have enough money. I can already feel that. So we do have some money problems already. And that's only going to increase over time. Let's have some more blocks here. So this is rather anotypical. We are spamming level 1 houses again. Before we can unlock new stuff. So mass scale is what we need in this area. Mass scale production and people. There we can actually squeeze in... Hmm, actually... Yeah... Let's get rid of that road there. Let's make this one double road going down there. I think this is better. And then we can still squeeze in a few more in that area. And then the smaller ones to finish off this little area there. That's fine for now, I hope. Um, I hope we're still looking halfway good. Yep, the water is completely out once again. That would be my next target then. So we can have the next desalination plant with some more modules another 10 yep we could probably import water soon from the space station but even then we need to be very careful about how much we actually want to import and export as that is a vital thing here there's a bit of information lacking otherwise it's looking good we can actually afford now to continue... Mm, yeah, I would still like to spam more houses. This seems rather boring at the moment, spamming all those houses, but it's going to pay off in the long term. So let's just do this one. We have the materials for that, and that's pretty cool, so that we can grow in these areas. And I will probably, probably have another information center here. This should work out. Yep, another information center just over there. Like so. Ah, beautiful panorama that we have. And, yep, more biopolymers need to come in. For now, 8,000. That's just looking dandy. That's just looking really good. Until we see the beef production so popping up. That's going to be a problem again. Information center is going to have a, a, a smaller park around it. Um, over here, then, we see now a major crossing, right? So this is a major road. Um, this is going to be a big one here, right? So there we're going to have the biggest service buildings available. Probably also then the corporate headquarter monument at some point. Um, so I'm definitely going to have some more triple roads in this area. As we continue down into that area as well. Let's go ahead and also have our police station here in the center. Now the police station, there's actually another bigger building. Yep, the train station, the metro station probably going to get rid of those houses there to have the metro station in this area right we're going to need this rather soon so why not just get rid of those buildings now the police we can have there and let's also go ahead and upgrade those bigger houses here now transfer route suffers from inadequate supply of goods and those are going to be some massively beautiful tier four houses then later on uh, that I could probably still do. Level 12 with that. We're getting a real cash influx for now. Happy to see that. Vitamin drinks is out now though and the rejuvenators as well. So we also need to think about long-term solutions now about vitamin and rejuvenators. Of course, I cannot have all of them here on this island. We still have a couple of small islands in the surrounding. 85,000 credits seems like a lot. I might actually settle on one of these smaller islands here as well, just for the production. There we have lots of coastal sites, so I can use this for my algae production. Yep, this is going to be my rejuvenator um, center, for now at least. Copy that. While the ship is on its way, let's also start with our fruit plantations. Now, I still have a whole lot of space on that side, so we might actually... Nah, 
now I'm not going to have production over there. What I can do is with the fruit, I can still spam in a lot of fruit now here. And fruit is something that I'm going to get from another um, world then completely, right? So we can still use that now here, like so. And then we can have quite a few of them here next to each other. I will probably, yep, need another warehouse in the area. Uh, so many details in these houses. It's fantastic. And then we're also going to have the vitamin condenser. Oh, and at the same time, energy is a problem again. So as you can see, it's all playing together. Let's have another solo collector on this side. Right, so that's a bit more energy. Of course, I cannot spam them all the time because they're taking in a rather huge radius. So at some point, we just will have to find alternatives to all of that wind power um, and solar power. There we have now the next vitamin condensers or productions. That's one. And I can definitely squeeze in another one here. Then we're actually out of it again, but 47 of the vitamins. 130,000, we can claim this. Sure everything that happens on there your we have it. That was rather expensive. I hope I don't have to purchase another island again in the near future because they are getting only more expensive now. Let's connect those coastal sites with it. And then we could actually also have... What I should definitely have is right away another warehouse on that side. Alrighty, since we now have a bit more energy and the money for it, let's go ahead and go with the next LG farm that we have. Let's just make it the four modules full. And then, well, the rejuvenators are actually one of the more complex ones now, since we do not actually need two steps before we can go with rejuvenators. So we do need, first of all, these synth cell incubators. So I'm going to need a lot of them in this area, right? So there we have one. Then I'm actually going with the next one right away so we can squeeze them in like that. Um, and let's just see how many. This one and this one. Right, oh, 56, and I will probably have another one just here. But that's the end of it. Yes. And then, well, we do need the rejuvenators. Um, world market news. We also get some new stuff here. By the way, world market news. That is here, the world market. That is the stock market. We still need a bit more time to unlock this one. Once we have it, we could purchase then shares from the other companies. Um, I think we could already take over sectors. But look at that, 1.9 million. This one costs me. Yes. Um, 1 million. So this would be a bit easier. Viridian Coves. Welcome. How are you today? Walbrook Basin, 1.6 million. That is far outside of our reach. No can do. What we can do, however, is getting ahead with the rejuvenators. Let's have the next ones then right here. And I guess we're going to do it like that. And yes. And one of them is actually already enough to completely deplete my synth cell production. But we are at 59 now. Of course, money-wise, we are also down. And what, what do I do when I'm out of money? Well, I'm just upgrading more buildings. Basically, we can afford that. We could also go ahead and upgrade them to the executives already, if I want to. Right, this is what one of our first really mass-produced items looks like. Um, that's 280 rice, but we really do need that much because of the organic food factory, right? So that's something. Um, and we do have already one here, so I can now add a few more of them in this area. Unfortunately, they also need water. So this is only increasing our water sh shortage that we have. So I'm really running out of that here soon. Um, that is why we need to keep a pretty high balance because water is very expensive, especially when we want to import it then. Let's just have a look that we are not overreaching it here because water is also something that we still, after all, need. That we still have that, that, and that. And I can and should have then a few more here as well. But 19 water as the surplus, that's probably something to keep in mind. Let's go back to the city. Um, we have super alloys for now, so I might actually go ahead and upgrade more to executives. Your implants is at minus five. That's of course because of the siege right now in Akia Flows, where we do need to destroy 17 ships. Eh, not something I'm going to do so quickly. Let's upgrade those guys. They're paying really well overall. 
the executives and the buildings just look amazing. The big ones. Level 14 with that. Let's just check it. Do we have... Nope, we don't have the metro station yet. So that would be something. And we have unlocked the next production chain. Which is already consisting of three parts before we can go for luxury food. So we don't need the beef, the wine. Um, and the beef actually needs the soy farm and the soy beans. That's Attention. really expensive. The Under one workshop costs 45,000 credits. I don't have anywhere near that money to sustain a production for it. That means we need a better economy first. It's probably something then that we can have on that side. And since I'm still waiting now on a few more biopolymers, I might also go ahead and just destroy that occupation there. But so far so good. Our megacity is now really starting to form. Stay tuned. <laughs> 